Hello YouTubers, this is Miss Joyful coming to you. I have a whole lot to share today and so I'm going to try to talk as fast as I can without stumbling over my words. Um, I just wanted to um, basically say, um, like, I want to tell you guys um, the, honestly who I am, why I giggle as much as I do, why I smile as much as I do, all these different things. Um, because um, growing up I was primarily poor. You know, um, and going through school was really difficult for me. I was taunted a whole lot. I mean, a really a lot all through school um, about the way I look. I'm being called ugly as early as I can know. I mean, I, I remember even in the first grade, um, these two guys, I still remember their names to this day, but I won't say their names. And I was just in the first grade. I remember being chased around a um, playground, and they was calling me Medusa. And I didn't know what Medusa was, but I remember being so upset and so frantic that day that the guy, these little boys, was chasing me. That I remember regurgitating, you know, throwing up, and it was just a really bad experience. And then all through school, as long as I can remember, all the way up through high school, just being teased about the way I look. Um, being teased about my hair, being teased about not having a nice clothes, and and for a long time my self esteem was just gone. I had no self esteem, even all the way through college. Um, you know, it was just very difficult for me. And for a long time, like I said, I really had a really bad um, self, you know, self inflicting thing where I would, you know, think so bad about myself and. I mean, as the years went by and I um, came to know Christ and all of those things, it was until then that I realized that um, I was looking for beauty in the wrong place, first of all. And, and then um, I know I didn't have any self-love. I didn't know how to love myself. Um, I didn't have any really good examples around me. And um, But when I did learn Christ and I began to see that, you know, love come from him, he is love. And then I realized, oh, okay, so the only way I can begin to love myself if I, um, is to re know the one who loved me first. And because he was the ultimate love, he is love. And so when I realized, like, oh my goodness. And then I started, you know, reading my Bible, different things like that. And I realized in the Bible... Oh my goodness, he loved me. He see me perfectly. It, it was a scripture in the Bible that says that um, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I hung on to that scripture for so long because like I said, I was so wounded inside. I was so scarred in the inside that, you know, um, I was just very depressed for a long time. Ten years of depression. I, I just didn't I really just did not know what love was to how to love myself. I didn't know how to love myself and so of course you don't know how to love others. And I'm telling you, once I got that revelation, my whole life changed. I mean, every day, you know, as I've been depressed for so long, when you really find out what joy and love is, then you 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 be I, I'm happy about the smallest things. I'm telling you, I, I would, my mom said I always was a happy child. She called me her little sunshine. And so, but, you know, as you grow up, you know, the life, life happens and you become, you know, the life shows you something different. But I'm telling you now, I, I just like, I don't care. I'm going to live every single day, live it on purpose, live it with love, live it with joy. And I'm serious, people. What you see on camera is exactly how I am. I'm very dizzy. Uh, I mean, in a good way, but a lot of people call me gullible because my personality is so mild, so welcoming. And you know, because I truly love people, I get energy from people. Uh, I, I'm just co completely loving all of you guys' vlogs. I rem last night, I'm telling you, my eyeballs, my eyelids was not, you know, <laughs> my eyelids were like halfway closed, but I'm trying to watch like Princess die, you know, going to Hawaii. I mean, um, um, ACG, I mean, Bashful ACG, um, I think it was Miss Bashful ACG, li listening to her struggles that she's going through on her job and just really encouraging her that, look, life is going to be beautiful. I mean, it's not going to always be hard, you know, as life is what we make it. 
We can make our days full of joy or we can make our days full of jo sorrow. And I know that for sure because I lived in a miserable state for over 10 years. But I, I finally realized that beauty did, do not come from the outside. It don't come from the way your hair look, your face. It literally comes from who you are inside. Are you loving? Do you have joy? Do you have peace? Long suffering with people? Do you have goodness and kindness? I'm telling you, I, 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 I want to give so much of that because it's like the more of that you give out of yourself, the more come back to you. So I just want to just let you guys know a little bit about why I giggle as much as I do. I still do a lot of, uh, I notice I pamper a lot in my uh, hair because I'm, I'm still really self-conscious about a lot of things. So I don't do it to be like, oh, my pretty hair, not like that. <laughs> I just do it because I think it's just a sort of self-conscious thing that I always be, you know, kind of mindful of the way my outside look. But I, 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 I'm not this person when you lose the weight and then you like, you know, you turn into a real tool. No. Um. I always, when people approach me, you know, you always have that first impression of a person. I let them know instantly that it's not how I look. It's not who I am. I, I love people. I truly love people. I, I think it's beauty in every single person. I really, really do. And, um, and so uh, I wanted to let you guys know that. But I have a few more things to show you guys. I wanted to tell you guys that first, though. Um, um, let's see. I got some goodies for you guys. Yesterday I was talking about the um, activated charcoal. This is how that looks. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Amazon queen. I buy everything off of Amazon. And, and sometimes I feel so bad because I spend so much money on there. And I'm asking God to help me with that. <laughs> okay. And so this is the activated charcoal. And remember I told you it's good for whitening your teeth. Um, making bright marks. Dark marks turn brighter. Cleansing. This is actually what they give to... Um, Poison victims to come into the hospital when you have an overdose. This is what they use. And so I use it just to pull the extra toxins out of my body when I'm doing all kind of things. Okay, I got to move on. This is my number one product for all of us ladies who is over 30 and pre-menopause and menopause and all of those things. This is heaven. Yes, um, I found out about this from my girlfriend, my bestie, Heather. I have to tell y'all got you guys about her too. Am I already at seven minutes? I'm trying to talk really fast. Um, but her mother was diagnosed with cancer and then she went through all the process and then they they eventually put her on this. And what it is, a natural product. It, it comes from like um, broccoli, spinach, all the greens. Um, and what it does is it, at, um, it helps to flush excess estrogen out of the body keeping your hormones level low and stable this baby is a gem to have so if you have had cancer or you have a high cancer risk this is a beautiful thing to do to flush because everything we use lotions and makeups and all that it has estrogen in it and it causes our estrogen level to go so high throw our hormones off whack and i love homeopathic things uh, so this is a safe thing. Everything on, in here is all from um, the greens, um, vegetables, okay? And I also got this from Amazon. I love this. Um, along with, I also take with this, I take progesterone cream that you just dab on your arm and it helps stabilize your emotions. Like my kids and my husband call it the happy cream because... All I had to do, if I know I'm starting to get tits and irritated about the littlest thing, I put on the happy cream. And that was called progesterone cream. I didn't bring that one. I will later, or if you guys want to know what that one is, is as well. Okay, so I was talking about the stuff that we put on our body, our makeup, and all, all those different things. Well, my daughter bought this. She is going to kick my butt because I brought it. <laughs> I brought it to work today. I wanted to show you guys. Look at my eyelashes. Mmm. I don't have on um I don't whether I'm too scared to put the eyelashes on. I'm scared I'm gonna poke my eye out. <laughs> okay, so um I had my uh, uh mascara and and then I was I saw her eyes and her like her eyes was just like every lash like it was covered and I was like let me try yours and I'm telling you it was so beautiful. Look at the um prongs on that or the bristles. It's like so many 
And once you put it on your eyes, your your eyelashes lengthens. And then if you let it dry for a second and then go back over, it lengthens longer. I was just like, oh, that is so beautiful. Okay, so what is it called? Maybelline, Maybelline, New York. And I think it's one by one volume expression. Express. Okay, you guys have to get this, ladies. Because we are becoming more beautiful every single day from the inside out. And so, look, we have to look good. Okay. <laughs> I know. Okay, so when I was a housewife, though, for 15 years, I wasn't one of those housewives who stayed in the rollers and the stuff like that. No. After I found out what God wanted me to be and who I wanted to be and every, what, everything that I do is expression of who I am, man, I would get up. He would start telling me, get up early, get yourself clean, put on your makeup, you know, dress up and look beautiful. I'm like, why? You know, um, <laughs> this is what I tell God. Why? Um, it ain't like he gonna see me anyway, my husband. You know, because when I'm getting up, he's leaving and then he come back in so late. I'm like, nobody. He said, you see you though. And it was so life changing because I do see me. And I remember I would go past the mirror sometime when I actually started trying to, you know, beautify myself. Not only on the inside, but the outside. I would go past the mirror and I would shock myself. You know, I was like, oh, I look a little bit decent today. It was a hard for me to accept um, compliments that I looked at, you know, okay. Or I looked at cute or, you know, stuff like that. Because for so long, I had those self-defeated thoughts of being ugly. You're ugly. You're ugly. You're ugly. You know? And, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, I'll say I got over it. I, I started loving myself, and then I realized the more I love God, the, lo the more I love myself, then the more people began to love me. I mean, really, for who I was. And I didn't have to pretend anymore. Okay, the next thing. <laughs> okay, you guys, I've been working out so good. Uh, okay, you know, you're not supposed to work out on HCG, but. I was doing a Dr. Lipman's type of thing where he said you can work out. And I did a whole lot of workout yesterday. Oh, my God. I forgot to tell you guys my stats. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. Today, I was 0.8 loss. Okay. So that makes me down, I think, 12 pounds. I didn't write that down. So I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll just make a notation in the description box to let you guys know. I wanted to show you guys my pretty belt. Okay. But I do have on a shirt today that totally shows my rose. And I wanted to show my role so that I can show you guys that, you know, I'm not, I'm a long way from perfect right now. And so if you can see, that's how they look. My rolls look very rolly. Um, but I don't have a girdle on. I just like, forget the girdle, you know, let the rolls out. Just, just let the rolls fly, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here go the next thing I wanted to tell you. I'm at 13 minutes. I love exercising. And this is what I'm talking about. I've been a diehard Tybo fan since 91. I mean, oh, well, oh not, not 91. Well, whenever he came out. I remember in college when I first got hold to him. It's certain things that you just know work for you. And Tybo just worked for me. I It's like every time I try to switch over to different things. Like I still can do Pilates and different things. And that does work too. But this is my all-time favorite. Um, my Tybo CDs. At one point, I had like 15 Tybo's VHS, um, um, VHS, um, what do they call them? I don't even know if they call them anymore. Oh, no. One moment, you guys. Miss Lisa, I will call you, can I call you right back? All right, I'll call you. Oh, you are? Okay, you know what? Well, then let's go ahead and talk. Okay, one second, okay? You guys, I am so sorry. I have to go. Ah! Okay, I'll tell you guys more about my exercise tomorrow. Bye.